Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. So as you can see, I am still at the house and there's a lot of construction going on here. We have contractors coming today to work on the roof. As you can see here, a dumpster is completely loaded with the old roof. Our last hurricane that came through really messed up that roof and we're finally having it replaced. So I'm stuck at the house right now, but I wanna record this real quick before I get to the studio. Now, really something incredible happened this last evening and I wanted to tell you guys about it and it has to do with Sony I've been talking so much about Sony sorry guys <laughs> but if you're into Sony then you're gonna love it so what has happened is really really amazing they have introduced a global shutter so why is it so important what is so amazing about a global shutter basically I've talked about this in the past and I've said a global shutter is going to be that turning point where everyone goes mirrorless and you no longer need a DSLR for its shutter okay why is that right now the way we capture images is we capture stuff from left to right or from right to left on the sensor the problem with that is, is since instead of it capturing full frames at a time, it's scanning. If you've ever seen, for example, a prop of an airplane or a helicopter blade, and it looks like if it's made out of rubber, that is the jello effect that ends up happening by scanning across that sensor to capture video. Now, a global shutter is the exact opposite. It captures frame by frame by frame by frame. That is that revolution. And now as of last night, Sony has introduced a new global shutter. Now, the problem here, guys, is it's only 1.5, 1.46 megapixels. That's okay, but they're on the right track. They know where they're going with this. This is very, very incredibly important. Incredibly important. Obviously, you're not going to strap something like this onto an A7 because it only has 1.5 megapixels. That doesn't matter. We're getting there. They are getting there. So. I would say that in short order, maybe another year possibly, we're gonna see that 1.5 megapixel expand to, let's say, 10 or 12 megapixels. And we know 12 megapixels to 16 megapixels is all you need. This 30, 40, 50, 60 megapixels are really not necessary. 16 is a good, solid number. 12 is even pretty good. So anyways, guys, global shutter, Sony last night introduces 1.46 megapixels awesome 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 so i just wanted to bring that to you before i get to the studio i'm going to sit here and wait a little bit longer it's still early morning you can probably hear the birds and hopefully these guys get here soon so they can start and i can talk with them and then head out to the studio so that's it guys i will see you in the next video as always if you enjoy the content please give me a thumbs up that would be awesome don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit that little notification button so you can get all of my content when it becomes available and as I always say, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find a lot of photography tools that I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that can help you in your photography business. And if there is, please pick it up and support. That's it, guys. I'm out of here for you. Another vlog. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.